Hi, Jack with Technology with Intention here. Had a bunch of requests to, for an explanation on how to create YouTube buttons that jump backwards and forwards within the same clip. So I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm starting here, I've got a clip um, that I had created previously for a different tutorial. So with my clip here, first step, I need to grab the URL. I'm going to be using it. Um, because I'm actually, the buttons that I create will be linking to the video itself. And I'll show you how that works in a few seconds. So go ahead and copy the URL from the address bar there. Step two, when you're logged in as yourself and you see the video that you want to add buttons to, just above the video it says edit annotations, go ahead and click that. You're going to see the annotation window pop up. You've got a video, you've got a timeline, and you've got an annotation field over here. So, to add an annotation that links or jumps, acts like a button, that's actually called a note. So I'm going to add a note here. A couple things just happened. You'll see uh, I have the note actually on the video. The scrubber bar set a preset um, time length for that button to exist. And then my annotation sidebar here gave, gave me more options, gives me more options. So uh, let's see, jump forward is the command that will be in the button. And that's going to be as big as it'll let me go. Um, and it will be dark blue text on orange background. So I got my button going on here. It doesn't really do anything yet. But I'm going to just place it right here. In my scrubber bar, I'm going to say it should start at the beginning and go for 15 seconds. That's two steps. And the third step is uh, this is going to be a link. Now, all the link options here happen to be within YouTube. You can't send people out of uh, the website as far as I know. I'm linking to a video and I've already got the URL saved on my clipboard. So I'm linking to myself uh, and I'm going to jump 30 seconds in to the film. Okay, So that's a real simple button. I'm going to save it. I'm going to publish it and then I'm going to view it. Here's my video. You can see there's actually a live button right here. It says jump forward. When I click it, the page did not refresh, but I jumped forward 30 seconds. That's all there is to it. You can make as many buttons as you want. You can make as many changes as you want. Remember, just click edit annotations here. Um, you may want to keep that URL handy uh, on, in an email or a text edit document or something because every time you create a button, you're going to be pasting in the URL. That will allow you to jump backwards and forwards. Thanks.